Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and I'm going on a trip tonight actually and it is going to be for just over two months which means I'm going to need to take a lot of things with me. I'm an overpacker as is. I, Whenever there's a limit to how many things you can take with you, I'm always reaching it if not passing that limit. So it's going to be a bit hard for me because this time I can only take 20 kilos in a luggage and then an 8 kilo carry-on but I'm trying not to take the carry-on with me because my original flight is going to have that option but then all the flights in between and they're going to be in between Europe so they're usually smaller airlines that don't let you take a carry-on with you and I just don't want to have to go through all that hassle so I'm going to have to try and fit everything that I'm going to be taking and God knows it's a lot in just one suitcase with 20 kilogram allowance so it is going to be a challenge to say the least my room is a mess as you can see in the background it's terrible and i have a system for this and i just thought i would take you guys with me along this process and pack essentially pack with me and see what i take with me on vacation and my carry-on essentials which i actually have a video on that i'll try and link it over here or in the description i really enjoy watching these kinds of videos when maybe i'm packing myself and i just have it on in the background so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today and i'm gonna go grab my suitcase it's in our basement and the basement is really creepy actually i think before going and grabbing that i'm just gonna lay out everything that i want to take with me and put them in packing cubes so i'm gonna lay them on the bed which is what i usually do take everything i think i might need and then reconsider um, maybe take some out and then whatever is left on the bed i just categorize put them in different packing cubes and then put the packing cubes in the suitcase and that way it just stays organized and it doesn't even take that long so yeah let's just get into it without further ado i'm just gonna start with putting things on the bed now random things you find around your room why 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 do i have a full cosmopolitan type drink it smells like cherries just laying around my room i apologize for anything of the sort that you may witness in the time lapse well those were all the clothes and it looks crazy in here oh my god i can't believe i'm such an overpacker and look at the room, the state of this. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put these into packing cubes. Um, I've got tops, um, dresses, bottoms, and Bambi. Hello, girl. Hello, girl. And we've got jackets slash coats, um, shorts, beach wear, and like two pairs of gym wear. I know I'm not going to hit the gym, but just in case. And then I've got all my packing cubes here, ready for me to just put these in them. I hope I can fit, you know, all the categories in just one, like each category into one single packing cube, but I don't see that happening, not at least for the tops. And then once that's done, I'll go in and choose which bags and shoes I'm gonna take, depending on how much space I have left. And I'm gonna pack my makeup and toiletries into that bag over there. One tip for packing cubes is to roll your uh, clothes and put them in the back packing cube and that saves you up so much space you can fit so much more in each cube so yeah roll your clothes always just generally always roll them whether you're using packing cubes or not welcome to ocean Wrong floor. <laughs> Welcome to Creepy Town. Thank God this turned on, but I, it's really, really creepy. I'm gonna try and not think of it much. Gosh, okay. If it's not creepy for any other reason, then it's because there are a bunch of cockroaches in there, usually. So these are my two suitcases. I'm definitely gonna need a bigger one. Guys, I just wanted to show you how big the suitcase is, like compared to me. And I actually got it at Primark for 50 euros, which is ridiculously cheap for a suitcase, which would indicate a, probably a bad quality. But honestly, I've actually quite enjoyed it for the past few months that I've had it and I've gone on a few trips. It's been working 
really nice so far. There are a lot of scratches, so that's something that you know you should be aware of. But other than that, it works fine and it's huge, so it fits a lot in, which means it's perfect for me. And I like the way it looks and the color. Hello, Miss Bams. I'm panicking. Could you help me with that? I'm panicking because <laughs> my suitcase is entirely full almost, except for that part and maybe a shoe or a bag that could fit there. And that's only my clothes. And I'm sure it already probably weighs about 15 kilos. I'm panicking. To my surprise, I've actually fit everything I wanted to take with me as like, you know, my essentials, toiletries and makeup, jewelry, again, clothes, sandals, uh, heels, I've got two pair, one in there and one underneath. I've got my bags and everything else fits. And I still have that much space left, which is insane. I haven't put my jackets in yet, which is probably where those will go. But I'm not taking them all, so I actually have a lot of space left. I just hope that I'm not exceeding the weight limit. Guys, I just finished. I think it took about two hours. As I was saying, sorry, I got called. I'm exhausted. I was just sat here. I'm gonna go run a few more errands before I leave. My flight is actually six in the morning, so I have to leave for the airport about three, which is the worst time possible. But I'm just gonna show you the result. It was eight kilos overweight, so I had to take my carry-on in the end. Awkward goodbye from the plane because I remembered I didn't close off the video. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.